I'm Sean Hamlin with PremierGuitar.com. We're at Frankfurt Music Mesa 2012. We've got Modern Clues on guitar here. And we're at the Palmer Simulator, or sorry, Palmer Amplification. <laughs> so used to saying those two words together. And Robin here is going to tell us about a few new products they've got. What we just heard is this cool new little amp. Mark, uh, Robin, tell us about it. Well, this is our newest baby, Marcus, Marcus Billy. You just got it ready a couple of days before the show. It's a 5 watt full tube amp. It's single ended with a 6 V6 power tube and a rectifier tube. And um, I guess you could say it's more or less like one channel of the Palmer Dry we saw last year. And um, it's got an Evidence Ragan Cayune 10 inch speaker in it. And it will probably be selling at a street price of about 400 euros. And um, yeah, Marcus might be able to tell you a bit more about what he thought when he did it. Okay, I was thinking of to have a beautiful amplifier which sounds as good as it looks like. I've I think you achieved that. Yeah, very, very, very much. <laughs> and um, I wanted to have a just pure 6v6 sound with a high voltage circuit and uh, with a tube rectifier. So it's everything inside and 10 inch speakers. So, so, so it's a very small compact size very loud and and uh, yeah you get a pure tube sound in a single single channel looks way cool you got like the ox blood and the tan vintage style grill cloth and love the rounded edge but and it's, but it sounds gnarly in a cool way let's hear a little bit more Sounds great, man. Now, Robin was just pointing out the foot switch down here. Is that for the boost? That's right. That's for the boost. Uh, what we see here is a prototype, uh, but uh, we'll get it done nicer. But um, yeah, you got a boost level here, and you could just activate it. That's without the boost. You got this half stack here with this bigger. It uh, looks like the head that you guys have had out for a while, but it's bigger. Tell us about it. Well, it's the same design as the Palmer Dry. We've, uh, it's been called a welding machine in most places, and uh, we sort of fell in love with the design, so we said we're going to stick to this and do a 100-watt amp. Um, the technology inside is, is similar to the our FAT50, which is just over there, um, but we put a lot more gain. It's, it's a pretty high-gain amp, and it's full metal steel housing and it's it's sort of amp for metal and high gain guys and it's it's got basically it's got four channels it's got a clean it's got a high gain it's got a drive channel and it's got a second master volume okay so it's four channels but they all share in a uh, three band eq right That's and right. yeah it's a stacked eq and yeah they share that but to compensate the differences you've got a bright switch up at the clean channel and you've got your drive presence for the drive channel so you can nicely uh, adjust that part of it. Okay, and I see a reverb knob there. Is that a digital or spring? It's a spring reverb. It's mounted right to the back plate of this here. Okay, so Robin, I see a reverb knob on there. That's a long spring tank? Yeah, it's a spring tank with three springs, long springs, and it's mounted right to the back here. Right behind the front panel. Yeah. Okay, let's hear uh, some of the sounds out of this. What is it? What are we going to hear first? Well, we're, we're right in high gain, actually. We've got the high gain on and the drive channel on and uh, a drive all the way up. So this is a max. We'll start at the top.
Okay, so what else we got in there? Well, that, was pretty, that was pretty dirty. I'm going to take the channel out and we're going to just play with high gain. Then, and then clean. Clean with a bit of reverb. Clean with a bit of reverb. It's pretty versatile. You don't expect that kind of twang out of that after hearing the that detune stuff. Yeah, it is damn versatile. You can use it for almost anything, and it just compared to the Fat 50, it's just a bit meaner. It's a bit more high gain, um, but you can surely not only use it for metal and heavy stuff. You can really use it for almost anything, and um, yeah, it'll be selling at a steep street price of probably around 1,200 euros. So it's still pretty affordable. Okay, Marcus, you guys have two new pedals here, so. What are we looking at? Uh, the first new pedal is Automat. This is a mixture of distortion pedal and automatic wah, with very good possibilities f uh, to mix mix up your sound between distortion, auto wah, and uh, your bypass sound. Okay, let's hear it. And the second is a time pressure. It's an analog lo-fi pedal, a delay pedal with compressor, and you can switch the compressor bit uh, 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 pre or post of the delay so so you can really press your guitar sound when it goes inside that you don't you, you don't distort it or you can also do it other way that you distort your your delay sound and uh, keep it afterwards clean okay why don't we hear the automat first and talk about that a little bit more and then we'll talk about the time presser cool okay, okay let's hear the automat Nice and funky. Got a nice nasal quality that's really gonna cut through a mix. And, and, and you can you can make really really strange strange pseudo effects with it. For example, this. Whoa! <laughs> that's crazy. Yes. It you is. know, drive the dogs in the neighborhood crazy. Absolutely, absolutely. You have overtones uh, you cannot imagine. Now, are there any other sounds you want to show us out of the automat, or should we move on to the time presser? We can we can go on to the time presser. Okay, so before we hear the time presser, I'm curious. Um, a compressor and delay is a fairly unusual combination in the single pedal. What made you guys decide to do that? Um, I like to play surf music very much, and uh, in surf music, you usually you have a single channel amplifier, and if you if you have delay before that because you need you need the delay delay or uh, a tube tube echo and uh, I always use compressor with my Roland tube echo to put down the delayed signal because then it's it always stays clean and and it, it don't get muddy yeah okay so that's that's the idea of it and uh, sorry. You can have up to 1,4 seconds delay time with this, and you can really go nice to feedback without the sound getting higher with the, the, the feedback sound. So. And you can make really nice motorboat sounds too. <laughs> and, 
and you have a tone knob if you want to if you want to play something like um, uh, Elvis style with a slapback echo. Sounds great, man. Yes, and uh, sure you have a pre-post uh, switch, and with it you can you can really nicely control the signal. Okay. Any other sounds you want to show us out of that? Uh, yeah, I can show how long you can go with this. So you can really hear that this is this is uh, analog delay with a um, uh, two TH80 chips. So bucket brigade chips. That uh, the old bucket brigade, old vintage chips. Yes, exactly. Cool. All right. So Marcus and Robin, where can people go to find out more about this stuff online? <laughs> Palmer minus Germany dot com. Okay. So Palmer dash Germany dot com. Cool. All right, guys. Have a great show. I'm Sean Hammond. Thanks for watching PremierGuitar.com. <laughs>